What's up my dudes? We're going to be talking about graphic novels today, so let's get started. Hey y'all, this is Kate Lanny, your teen librarian from the Hewitt Public Library. As you can see, I am at the library. We are now open for curbside pickup. If you don't know how to do that, so it's very simple. All you do is you either call the library or you go online to hewitt.biblionics.com and you log in to there, you reserve your items either, again, through, by calling us or by going online. And then we get the books ready for you. We put them out on tables outside. You come by and you pick them up. It's pretty cool, but then you have access to actual physical books, which is really, really cool. We miss you guys. Hopefully we're going to be opening up soon. But in the meantime, I would love to talk to you about some more things that you can read that is available on Overdrive as eBooks. I want to talk to you about graphic novels today. Graphic novels are comic books, mangas, different things that are animated and have those actual pictures in there instead of supplying a whole lot of words because you know a picture is worth a thousand words. I have two different mangas I want to share with you today and one uh, graphic novel series. For those of you who are unfamiliar with manga, manga is Japanese style graphic novels. They are read from right to left. So the beginning of them feels like the back of the book and you read them from right to left. It feels backwards, but actually it's really not that hard to um, adjust to because whenever they first made them, you know, their first originate mangas ori obviously originated in Japan. When they first translated them into English, they did flip everything to where it would be read from left to right. And it's actually really, really expensive to do. And they realized that Americans, we were not having, and most Americans did not have any issue reading it from right to left. So they just decided to keep it. Manga is designed to be read fast. Like generally, it, you're expect, it's expected to take an hour to read just one volume of a manga. So there's a lot of words that are sound effects. There's a lot of just fast, it's generally pretty fast paced. So they have these fun little tricks to help the reader know that symbolism, that you read a lot of manga, you can kind of make these assumptions as you progress through. For example, and I'm not saying this is in every manga, but this is an example. The bigger the eyes of the character means the more innocent they are. So if they have more narrow eyes, they're not necessarily a bad person, but maybe they have a complex backstory and the people with like really small eyes are generally the baddies. So I have two different kinds of mangas I'm going to talk about with you today. Um, there are two very different feels on it. And the first one, okay, so I'm a baddie. The first one I'm going to tell you about is not actually on Overdrive as an ebook, but the anime film for it is on Netflix. If you're the kind of person who likes to experience emotional trauma at the hands of a paperback, these are the manga. This is the manga for you. It's a really interesting but a very emotional story. It is, it is called A Silent Voice. I read the first two volumes of it. There's, I think, seven. The anime on Netflix, it's the entire story. So if you want to know the whole story, that's, the, that's what you would watch. But obviously you're going to get a little bit more in-depth when you read the manga. So A Silent Voice is about two different characters. The boy is Shoya, the girl is Shoko. It starts off when they're in sixth grade. This, most of the story happens while they're in high school. But it starts off in sixth grade. So here's the thing. Shoko is deaf and she's the new person in the class and Shoya is kind of a bully and he starts messing with her hardcore because he's just not used to how to communicate with deaf people and it's not that he's the only person there who deals with that struggle it's he is the one who is most open about messing with her because a lot of people make are being very passive aggressive towards her but he's openly bullying her and it gets so bad that where she ends up having to leave the school and Shoya ends up taking all of the blame. He gets completely isolated by all of his friends. They all turn their backs on him. The story is about Shoya trying to make amends with Shoko, dealing with all of the fallout of that. It goes into mental health, it goes into suicide, it goes a lot into deafness and bullying. It's kind of heavy, but it's not too heavy, obviously. It's a very interesting read, but yeah, it gets real for sure. So the next one I want to talk to you about, this is a completely different vein from A Silent Voice. This is definitely more action-packed and it's definitely funnier. So it is called One Punch Man. So I read volumes one, two, and three. And all three are on Overdrive as ebooks. The One Punch Man takes place in a world where the cities 
are all ravaged by monsters and aliens and things like that. And there's tons of different superheroes about. And One Punch Man is a guy who decides he wants to become a superhero. And he trains so hard that he can take out anything with a single punch. But now he's bored. Now he's bored and he wants a challenge and he's not getting one. So, and he also stumbles into these situations because a lot of times he runs into these monsters while he's coming home car carrying his groceries. It's really funny. The animation cracks me up because you get these um, really, really detailed pictures and drawings of the cities and all the other characters except for One Punch Man himself who looks like he was drawn kind of like by a five-year-old. It, it's an interesting dynamic to show the difference between the in-depthness of everything and then just one his bland, his bland face and dead eyes. It's not super action-packed to the point where it's impossible to follow. It's, yeah, it's just quite entertaining and things just sort of happen. And um, the people he runs across, um, there's a cyborg who wants to be trained by him. He wants One Punch Man to um, be his teacher. It's yeah, highly entertaining. They do they do have an anime for this. I think it's on Hulu. It is only available in subtitles, so it's still in Japanese, but there's subtitles in English. But there's not a dubbed version, so you can't watch it fully in English. So if that's your type of thing, if you prefer subtitles, then there you go. I've heard very good things about the anime, so there you go. This last one I want to talk about is not a manga. This is a just straight up regular graphic novel, but this is again also available on Overdrive and eBooks. It's called Paper Girls. If you are a fan of Stranger Things, I would recommend this series because it starts off in the 80s. These girls are all about 12 years old and they're actually the first females in their industry in the city that they live in to throw newspapers out. They somehow get involved in this sci-fi situation with time travel so they end up have, going into the future to see their future selves they encounter these species involve dinosaurs it actually just reading the first two i'm still a little lost as to what's going on and i'm not saying that it's completely dense or anything but i am only reading part of the story so i would definitely it's very interesting though very compelling and it's something i will continue to read on i would encourage you guys to look into that one the animation's really cool the color scheme is really cool and it definitely has this 80s vibe that i like but it also you know shows how they see things in a different perspective and shows a different time and age and then it has a really it has really interesting theories of your time travel which aren't necessarily wrong it's just not a, not always something you take into consideration for example with time travel, not everybody thinks about the fact that the world is still physically spinning. So not only when you're traveling in time, you have to think about the actual physical location of where you're going. So yeah, there's just some interesting things to think about. But yeah, these are really good books. I recommend them. Um, if you're into graphic novels, these are fun things to read. They're very fast-paced. They don't take me very long. Hopefully I'll get to see you guys soon. We hopefully will be opening up before you know it. I miss you guys and I'll just love to see you as soon as I can. The library misses you. We're feeling your absences and hopefully we'll be able to see you guys. Um, I would love to know how y'all are doing so don't feel free to reach out to me and uh, just tell me how you guys are doing or if there's any other books that you want to hear me talk about. I'm not just doing this to hear my voice, this is actually kind of uncomfortable for me, but hey, I will do anything I can to continue to reach out to you. So, because I love you guys, y'all are the bestest to me. Alright, I love you, y'all are precious, and hopefully I will talk to you guys soon.